everyone, it's MJBS channel once again with you, and today I'm showing you a tutorial how to create your own texture pack. So I don't know the tutorials really much, but today I just want to show you how to create your own texture pack for Minecraft. So first of all, um, I'm gonna do it for myself. I'm gonna start with uh, Minecraft. Where is it on my desktop? Minecraft here, and I'm gonna go to single player and create a new world. Start with creative, and I'm gonna name it a new world. Like I want to have a name, just a kind of name. There. Let's just go to this position. This is a really good position for testing something. So the block that we're gonna change today is we're gonna make um let's see, we're gonna make this power rails kinda like orange color. The thing over here, like you see the the dark red thing. Actually that was a bad idea to choose. We should choose we should we should do the red red um Red ore, we're gonna put make it into orange ore. So redstone will be orange stone, I call it. So to do that, first of all, we have to get the program that called Jimp. Jimp, 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 where is it? Where is it? There, Jimp. So you open up Jimp, and you leave it for later. Then, first of all, you need the thing that I call I'm going to give a link in the description so you guys can download it. But this is the thing that allows you to, that has all the files you need to create a texture pack. So it has armor, art, environment, GU, item, mask, pack, pack, txt, pretty blue, terrain, terrain, PNG, and mood. Actually, I have to, um, did I even create a backup? Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, this is actually not the one, the folder that I use it. This one, pack three, this one, gotta be a red. Yeah, that's, that's the one we're going to use today. So let's make a copy of this folder so I can post this one on online, but this one I will keep it for later. Copy, and then let's paste it I team. I'm going to work on this folder. So first of all, what we're going to do today, we're going to try, we already talked about making the orange ore, orange stone. To do that, we have to get open this with this program that I just opened it. So I guys can show you the screen, but this is how you open it. There you have it. I recommend get the tools. Where the tools went to? No, 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 tools, 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 tools. Um, and now what you do? You get this um lamp and you make it bigger. Oops, wrong button. Make it really big, really big, really big, huge. And here we go. Here's the orange. Here's the our uh red ore or red stone. And we're gonna make it to orange stone today. So first of all, we need to find the pencil, change the color to orange. Boom, boy, I already have it saved because I made a bet. And where's the pencil? Use pencil. Oops, that's too big, guys. Too big. Make sure you don't like do this. Like if you guys are gonna do messed up and everything, you use Control Z to make your mistakes go away. And this is only for Mac. this is tutorial for Mac. I tried to make a texture pack for Windows and it didn't work, but this is for Mac, and this one actually is better tutorial. That so I recommend having Mac if you want to create a texture pack. Then you, if you want it for Windows, you see each other up video. In this video, I'm just gonna show you how to create it for Mac. Um, so let's change everything from here into orange, every red to orange. And I recommend changing everything if you want to post the texture pack online. So, because people like a lot of texture packs with a lot of stuff on it. They just don't like a texture pack with one change. Who wanted that? They can do it by themselves. Oops, I uh, just created a mistake. Control Z, our friend. Always have a Control Z ready for... What the frick? Oh, okay. Control Z. Oh, it doesn't work. What the... Oh, clicking F. Okay, there. <laughs> clicking the wrong buttons, guys. Clicking the wrong buttons. Let's. Do, what the hell? Oh, there. Let's fix everything in here. And we almost done it. And we're done. Orange ore. So to do that, we have to save our thing. Save it. Close up. Close up everything except the nice texture pack. And. Uh, I just called it Nice Texture Pack because I just found out the name really good. Let's check it out. Nice Texture Pack. Here you can see it's orange. Um, let's make it bigger. 
there, orange. And to do that, now we have to go to our library. So, oops, finder is already open. I have to make a new window. Okay, let's do that with library, application support, Minecraft, um, texture pack. That's where you gotta put it that. But before that, we can't just put all the files in. We have to do this. Take everything that we have and click on compress 12 light teams. We get the this archive zip. You can rename it as you want. Get info. Rename it as you want. As long as you is okay for you to name the stretch pack. So you just change name it what you want. Nice. Pack. I'm gonna call it. Because I want I like this name. Let's just save it. And now we're gonna uh, actually make a copy because if we're gonna make it that way, it's not gonna work. Um copy and put it into here. I already have a test. That's my test extra pack that I tried before making this video. And here we go. We have a nice pack in it. So let's now just close everything. Close everything except Minecraft. So I already turned on my Minecraft, now you guys have to turn on your Minecraft. So here we have a moss texture pack, and here I have all the texture packs. So um, let me just show you the example of the texture pack that I made. Test zip over here. Let's uh, choose this texture pack, and then let's choose the map before I play the map, before I create a new map. And here, I still have to work on the texture pack because, look at this, the image is still the same, but as soon as I placed it, it creates orange. So you guys have to work on that too. The chickens. Um, and right now, I'm going to show you what's happened to our red redstone, or now we can call it orange stone. Oh yeah, before do th doing that, you have to change to nice pack. And over here, we have created my first one. Oops, that's not the one that I wanted to. Okay, so this is the second one. Voila! Orange ore. Orange stone. What do we have here? Orange stone. And here, actually, it changed the image. I don't know why it didn't change. Oh, yeah, because it's I-team. Okay. It changed it to the blocks, but it doesn't change to I-team. So if you're going to do an I-team, you have to search. Uh, have to change it other things. I will, sh I will tell you what you have to do. You have to, in here, let's just close this up. And you have to, in here, you search for... I think it's I-Team. Nope, not I-Team. Have to find it, guys. Have to find it. Yeah, I-Team's PNG. And here, you make it bigger. And here, you just change this bad color to orange color. That's how you do it. So, I guess that's all for you guys today. I'm going to create a te texture pack, for example, so you guys can test it and everything. And just try it out. I'm gonna create like a small example of the clean texture pack without like no blocks mixes, just the texture pack with one color. That means if it's like you know, for texture packs, you have like stone looks all the same, but then you look closer, like has a lot of things. What I'm gonna do, I'm making gonna make stone the same one color so it looks the same all the time just for fun, you know. So, guys, thank you for watching. See you guys next on MJBS channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.